Hello everybody, Crinkit here, and I got a package from Silver Scripter. I won't flip it around because my personal info is on the other side. It was on both sides actually, so I had to rip it out. It's right over here, but uh, I'm going to open this up live. You can't see the whole package because it's pretty big. Silver Scripter, um, maybe by the time this comes out, he already made the video, and if not, he will make the video soon. So his link will be in the description and let's see the first item the first item is a 2000 s quarter state proof set pretty cool all the designs we also got a letter actually let's read that first before i get into anything else Thanks for the trade, Silver Scripter. Thank you for trading with me, Silver Scripter. It's super fun. I hope you enjoy my coins as well. Let's see what's the next item. Five Buffalo Nickels. And I see three Phillies and two San Francisco's. We'll have to check up. Sorry, my pet fell. Anyways. We'll have to check these for varieties. I'll do it at the end. But. Let's check these out. I'm gonna. Turn on my lamp really fast. Right over here. Looks like it's not plugged in. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my lamp on. Let me put these lower. And let's just set them down. So the light shines on them well. First one is from the Philadelphia Mint. 1919 full date Buffalo Nickel. Hopefully you can see that. Next one is also from the Philadelphia Mint. 1937. I actually already have one of these. But I don't think it's as nice as this. Mine is full date but more worn on with the scratch. Here's another Philadelphia. 1936 just making sure you could see that well that's a good this one is from the san francisco mint 1936 as well second san francisco mint buffalo i own soon to be three actually let's get this one another san francisco or is that a denver yeah it's san francisco 1937 so we got 1919, 1936, and 37 Philadelphia Buffalo Nickels, a 37S, and a 36S. Very cool. Very cool. And we've got my second ever Peace Dollar. 1923 Philadelphia. Let's take it out of here. This is a very beautiful coin. My second ever piece dollar. You know, this is very, very thick. Let me put a, the buffalo nickel in comparison. Very, very nice coin. It's got nice detail. And it's got some, some luster. It is a very, very nice coin. We'll keep this on top of that for now. Right here on the side. Sorry, you can't see everything well. Uh, let me uh, let me try and position my iPad in a way where we could see as much as possible. The 2000s proof set is a bit off, but that's okay. And we've got a bit of silver here. Let's open this up. And by the way, while I'm opening this up, if you're wondering uh, what my email is, it will be in the description. Some of these coins are, I've already made a, a coin trade with Gaming Dog, and I'm sending one of these Liberty, uh, the 1926, this is a 1926 San Francisco. I'm sending my own, I'm sending my own standing Liberty quarter to Gaming Dog. 
the coin trade. So, uh, you'll see a video on that soon. This one's in 1925. My second and third ever walking liberty. I mean, standing liberties. And yeah, if you're wondering what my email is in the description, I love making coin trades with subscribers. Here's a 1944 Philadelphia Mercury Dime. And a really nice uncirculated 1959 Roosevelt Dime. I'll probably put it in my type set. That's some silver so far. That's some silver. Silver from Silver Scripter. Very nice. Just trying to make some more space over here for the next few upcoming coins. Okay. I see some stuff here. I'm gonna keep that to the side for now. It's smaller than I expected, but here is a, a 10 gram 0.999 fine silver bar. Um, I kept I kept it off, sorry. With the school design. Very cool. And it's heavier than I expected for its size. So yeah, we are getting some silver out of this. And then the smallest silver bar I've ever seen. We got a one gram. One gram silver bar. Kind of pointy. I kind of pinched myself there. One gram, 0.999 fine silver. I'm holding it the wrong way. Fine silver. Very, very tiny, hard to read. Let's see if I could zoom in on it. And yeah, so maybe I'll be able to read that better like that. Very, very tiny letters. That's another gram of silver to the collection. And every gram is a gram of silver. Then, my second ever large scent. Which I will be trading away to Gaming Dog, who doesn't have a large ten in his collection, I don't think. An 1845 large ten. Really nice detail, you can see Liberty. And it's got its wear, but it is a nice large ten. And I will keep it to the side. Look at this large ten compared to a standing Liberty quarter. The large cent was somewhere between the quarter and a half dollar, and the quarter and a half dollar were the same size back then, so imagine what that was like. That's all for the package. I'm extremely happy with this. I will set it up and bring you in for the recap. For the recap, we've got our 2000 San Francisco roof set. Very beautiful, I didn't show it like this earlier. We got that 1923, almost looks like 28. Under some lights it looks like 28. I got scared there for a second. Many people know 28 is a very rare day, even for Philly. 1923 peace dollar. Actually, my only other peace dollar I think is also 1923 Philadelphia. We got some Junk silver, a 1944 Mercury dime, an uncirculated silver dime from 1959, two standing Liberty quarters, 25P, 26S, five Buffalo nickels, two from San Francisco, three from Philadelphia, one from the teens, and the rest from the 30s. My favorite coin, I like it even more than a peace dollar. My second large cent. My first one is in 1819. I got three years ago or two years ago. And now I got an 1845 large cent. Which I will be trading away though. But I'm glad to have held this. I'm happy. And two things, two last things 11 grams of silver. Very cool. I love the design. Of the skeleton on that one. This one is so light. Wow. And this one heavier than I expected. 
It is very, very cool. It says 10G, 0.999, fine silver. Three nines, fine silver. That is it. Thank you, Silver Scripter. Go subscribe to him. His link will be in the description along with my email. And happy hunting, everybody. It's time to upgrade this beautiful coin. This one is way better.